These people fainted in public places. In 2018, the excitement was too much to handle for Clara Sosa from Paraguay. Miss Grand Paraguay! She fainted on stage when she won Miss Grand International. The pageant was broadcast live on Facebook, so there was no way of editing the moment out. One of these two ladies will be the new Miss Grand International. After the winner was named, the first runner-up tried her best to stop the fall, and others rushed to help the overwhelmed beauty queen. In 2022, this Davis, California man decided to film himself weightlifting. He got set up, got into position, and went to deadlift. He's focused, and then suddenly, he passed out. Luckily, it wasn't for long. He gathered himself together and appeared to be okay. In March of 2023, Los Angeles meteorologist Alyssa Carlson fainted during a live TV broadcast. Initially, when this happened, I think a lot of people, including myself, thought I was having a heart attack on the air. That was not the case, thankfully. I hadn't had breakfast that morning. Um, I also had been drinking a lot of coffee, and so most likely I was maybe a little dehydrated. So at, at that point, I thought, I'm just going to power through. I'll be fine as I usually yeah. am. I could feel the tunnel vision coming and just starting to get black. She later revealed she was diagnosed with vasovagal syncope. Vasovagal syncope is the most common type of fainting. It occurs when your nervous system unexpectedly triggers your heart rate to go down and your blood vessels to dilate. That combination causes not enough blood going to your brain, so your body tries to compensate and collapses. I do have a history of fainting. It hadn't happened in a while, and I'm now going to have to learn how to really recognize the symptoms of this condition. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. In 2015, CNN anchor Poppy Harlow slurred her words before passing out while on air. Bad news for the Obama administration. Uh, we have this new CNN ORC poll, which is quite a quite a uh, turnaround in. Uh, CNN cut to a commercial and Poppy came back on air 10 minutes later. I got a little hot and I, I passed out for a moment. I am fine. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Quite a, quite a uh, turnaround in, uh... in August of 2023, this father-to-be was on the floor while the mom-to-be was in labor. He definitely tried his best. Corianne Johnson was about to give birth to her daughter, Navy, but the epidural was just too much for hubby Cody. Whenever I saw the needle, which was about yay long, I felt that same stomach turning thing coming on. So I tried to get up and walk away just to see if I could get it to subside. I look over and I see Cody on the floor and he's crawling, trying to make it over to the couch. The <laughs> anesthesiologist said, do you, do you want to grab your phone? <laughs> do you want to film this? I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Nurses gave Cody crackers and juice and helped him to a couch. To my credit, they said it was a graceful fall. I kind of like collapsed down very gently. The doctors were so used to this happening. They were just like, oh, another one. <laughs> After Cody came to, he was ready for daddy duty. He's been a great dad since she was born, so I'm, I'm very grateful. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andreas Wendell.